What's up guys and welcome to my first English spoken vlog. I should be talking about why this is in English, but actually I want to talk to you about this. That's right, I'm riding a one wheel. For those of you who've known me for a while, you know I'm an avid Evolve skateboard rider. I have been riding Evolve skateboards for years. So why am I riding a one wheel? Well, for one, it's just so much fun! <laughs> Number two is, this thing can take me anywhere. And when I say anywhere, I literally mean anywhere. It will just keep going. <laughs> it's so cool. It moves like magic. I mean, I'm not even thinking about these things. They just happen. Hell yeah. I'm just going up this hill. It's going quick too. And yes, it does go downhill and yes, while going downhill I am braking which regenerates electricity that goes back into the battery. I'm literally charging my board as I'm running down the hill. I love this thing! Ooh. Ooh, that was close! <laughs> I know what you're wondering. Is this not difficult to ride? It's a two-part answer. One, no it's not. Two, yes it is. Let me explain. When I first got it, I just took it out of the box, put it on the floor and drove it in my house. I didn't even think about it. I just went for it. Full scent. Like the skater brain just kicked in and the one thing that I noticed later on was I didn't know how to turn. I just did it and when push came to shove and I had to turn in traffic, I kind of forgot how it works. And therein lies the fundamental problem. It behaves a lot like a regular skateboard, but then again, it doesn't. You lean forward, you go that way. You lean backwards, you go that way. I might be going a bit faster to do this, so let's, let me try that again. You lean on your toes, you go that way. You lean on your heel, you go that way. But there's one big thing that's changed. You see, there's a thing that you can do with a one wheel which you can't do with a traditional skateboard. You can turn in place. It's an almost ballerina slash Rodney Mullen like twist that you're doing. <laughs> the other thing is, it's really hard to understand how to get off it. You see, you have to understand, this is a self-balancing board. Once you get on it, you can't just step off it because if you take one foot off, the board starts to dip. Basically, by stepping off, you're accelerating aggressively in one direction while only being on the board with one foot. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that's dangerous. So there's actually two ways to get off the board. One is you just hop off. That's easy. The second way is to lift your foot partly off the board so the board knows you're trying to step up. That's when you can step off safely. It took me quite some time to get that down. Stepping off a one wheel. Yeah, I'm, I'm resorting to YouTube to teach me how to use the skateboards. It's come that far. I actually feel old right now. <laughs> but once you've got these principles down, it only comes down to the fact that you need to be able to trust this board and that is the biggest issue because on many occasions I felt like I was going to fall down but the board just like caught me. You have to be able to trust that the board will do the right thing to keep you going. You get a lot of weird stares from people when you're riding this thing. <laughs> Does it go fast? Well. Yeah, it goes fast, it goes plenty fast for something that's only one wheel. In fact, it goes so fast that if for some reason you have to jump off it at full speed, you can barely outrun it. And that's something I think is really important. If you can't outrun it, you're destined to get hurt. So there must be some kind of a dark side to this thing. And you'd be right. You see, when you're riding an electric skateboard and the battery goes flat, it turns from an electric skateboard into a traditional skateboard which you can stand on, which you can still push. However, when the one wheel's battery cuts out, it turns from a one wheel piece, 
Hang on. It turns from a one-wheeled piece of magic into a 25-pound anchor. That's a lot of anchor. It's self-balancing. It needs the motor, which means it needs the battery, which means it needs electricity to stay upright. Which in turn means if the battery stops, pretty much you stop. <laughs> Yo! Which then means you have to carry it. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and if there is anything else that I haven't mentioned about the one wheel that you'd like to know, let me know in the comments.